Kitty. What is up? Guys, it's BT back here again with another review. Today I'm excited to bring you guys a review on one of my favorite all-time mice that has now gone wireless, and that is the SteelSeries 650. I first saw this mouse leaked on Reddit and I got super excited, but then that excitement turned into concern as I saw the weight and the price, which are about the same, might I add. The price is hefty at $120, which I kind of blame Logitech lately for jacking up the prices of wireless mice. And this thing is 121 grams for the weight of this bad boy. But guys, before you turn this video off, this mouse has an X factor that far outweighs the weight of this mouse. Get it? So let's talk about this mouse and how it can affect your gaming. But before we begin guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more headphone, computer, and phone reviews coming soon. All right guys, so in the box you'll find the mouse, the cord which is super soft rubber and feels super nice. So when you have to charge your mouse, you won't get that nasty cord drag like on Logitech mice. It connects to this micro USB connector on the front which is a little bit thicker to make sure that the cord stays in place. As for the actual design of the mouse, it features three side mouse buttons which are perfect in my opinion. They're not too big and they're not too thin. I will say for small and medium hands, it's really hard to reach the furthest mouse button on the side. So I usually don't use it as my hands are only 19 by eight centimeters. The mouse one and two are excellent. They have these nice grooves that allow your fingers to feel like they are in a nice cozy hammock. I'm starting more and more to like mouse buttons with those nice grooves in it. This is super nice for you palm grip users out there. I find that the clicks are a little light for my taste. I prefer a little crispier clicks. On top, you'll find a DPI button for on the fly switching. I find this useful when I'm switching into games with no sensitivity control. The mouse wheel is rigid and it feels very, very nice when you scroll it. I love it. Now guys, I know this might be a little subjective. I know, I know, but I think this mouse is one sexy mouse. I love the two lines on each side and the SteelSeries logo is dope with the RGB. You can change the RGB as well as the bindings of your buttons in the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. It comes with 24 hours of battery life, which is respectable. For 15 minutes of charging, you will get 10 hours of charge. That is amazing. The 650 is rocking 1000 Hertz and one milliseconds for the latency on the wireless, which is similar to what Logitech is doing currently. Now on to the X Factor. Yes, this mouse is heavy at 121 grams and it comes with weights that you can take your mouse up to 153 grams. And you do this by adding it on the side. At first, 120 grams scared me because mice like the Final Mouse Ultra Light Pro are 67 grams. The Logitech G Pro Wireless is now 87 grams. But the one thing this mouse really has going forward is the design on the mouse. The grips on this mouse make the weight disappear and not even be a factor when controlling this mouse. The rubberized grips make this thing stick to your hand like glue. And the low profile makes it suitable for palm grip, claw grip, and even fingertip grip. SteelSeries has really struck a great balance between adding a sufficient hump for palm grip and a claw grip and also making it low profile enough for fingertip grip users. I only really noticed the weight of this mouse once I actually switched back to my G903, which is my daily driver. And even though it only weighs 109 grams, which is only 12 grams less than those 650, I can still feel a difference. But at the end of the day, does it really matter once you get used to how a mouse moves and react? Weight, in my opinion, becomes a thing of the past in that case. The true sensor on the mouse feels different than my Logitech mouses that I own. From the research that I've done, most believe that the 650 True Move 3 Plus sensor is pretty much identical to the 3366 in most other top mice. In performance, the True Move 3 Plus, it uses two sensors for true one-on-one -on -one tracking and instant liftoff detection. It is definitely there though, the difference, I can feel it. Uh, I don't know if it can be described scientifically, but for my uses, I can definitely feel a difference between this and Logitech. Kept my DPI and my sensitivity the same in Overwatch, and it took me a while to get used to how the mouse sensor tracked compared to my Logitech mice. It took me about a full day or two once I switched over to it to really get completely comfortable with it. Once I got comfortable with it, I was hitting flick shots like none other. 
This mouse is a bad mamma jamma. Let me tell you guys. Tracking feels super crispy like bacon first thing in the morning and projectile shooting is a breeze. On the SteelSeries 600, I had a lot of drag on the back of the mouse near the butt. It seems though that SteelSeries has listened and they have fixed that with the 650, which is greatly appreciated. So do I think this is the best wireless mouse out? No, but it is really good for the right people. Who are the right people, BT, you might be asking. Well, in my opinion, it will work best for all grip styles, pretty much, for people who love heavier mice and people who want a wireless solution, because I think this is the best heavy wireless mouse out on the market right now. And it's super flexible in the way that you can actually configure the weights, which is always a plus. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for my review of the SteelSeries 650 mouse. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. It's been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe on this video. If you have any more questions, be sure to ask me down below, and I'll see you in the next one. It's been your boy BT. I think I said that already. Saying peace.